mom and running the streets and doing all those kind of things, drugging and doing all, the question of the hour was, what was it that changed you? Amen. Something had to change your life because you're no longer out on the street corners. You're no longer out uh, in those places that you, you loved it, you enjoyed it, it was part of your life. But something changed your life. What is it that changed your life? And we came to the conclusion on last week that it was the word of God that changed our life. I have a person, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. The power of God is the salvation. We were, I found out the word of God is what did it, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we found out that the word of God is personal. You meet thousands of people in the sanctuary. And the preacher will preach over a sermon. And it ministers just to you. Amen. Preacher, you was at my house last night. Preacher, you talked to my wife. You talked. No, no, no. The Holy Spirit was and God gave the word that can be tailor made just for you. The gospel is personal. The gospel is powerful. The gospel is practical. And the gospel is persistent. We talked about that last week. And I thought I was through until this week when God just wouldn't let this thing go. Even my son Chip Abbey said, Dad, what you doing with these great commissioned uh, uh, sermons here? And I said, Chip, God has just burned my heart about I never again want to be called by the police and see another young teenager dead in front of our church. So we've got to do something about it. We've got to go, we've got to reach them, we've got to teach them, and we bring with us the Word of God, the power of the Word of God that will change their lives. So today I want to talk about the third, I guess it's part three of these sermons. Uh, first part was our game plan, uh, how we, what we needed to go. Last thing, uh, how we're going to do it, by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today is time to execute our plan. So with that in mind, Roman, Mark chapter 2. The gospel of Mark chapter 2. What is it going to take to reach this generation? I want to answer that question uh, in this uh, time that we have left. Mark chapter 2. Uh, look at with me verses 1 through 5 of that chapter. Mark chapter 2. 1 through 5 of that chapter. If you have it, please say amen. amen. You'll find the similar words. And again, he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was heard that Jesus was in uh, the house. Immediately many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive them, not even near the door, and he preached the word to them. Then they came to him, bringing a paralytic who was a bad, carried by four men. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. So when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. Our Father and our God, Master, we are so grateful for this privilege and opportunity that you've given us to be in the Lord's house on this, the Lord's day. God, we're so grateful for so many guests who are worshiping with us today, God, all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio, the Crossroads Church, God, be with them, protect them, watch over them this week as they come to share in VBS in our city and in our church. The Francis T. Nichols, uh, class 1979, 1978, thank you for allowing them to be with us. Thank you for Brother Bill, who blessed our hearts and song. Thank you for all the other guests who come from near and from far, those men who are standing around the wall, giving up their seat for these, for the ladies, God. I pray your special blessings upon them. Bless these men, God, in the blessing that they stand in need of. God, we pray for those in our gym, our children's church, those in the Byron Renee Johnson choir room, those in the chapel overflow room. Bless them, God. But God bless everyone under the sound of my verse. Those who are in the sanctuary, those who are watching by way of internet. Now, God, bless this time of preaching. As always, Master, let me decrease as you increase. Father, let them not see Fred, but God, let them see Christ. To so then, Master, that you may be glorified, the saints of God may be edified, Satan may be horrified, and lost sinners will come to repentance. Therefore, God, stand in my body is think with my mind speak with my voice i'll be careful to give your name all praise all glory and all honor in jesus name we pray and for us say let the people of god say amen. amen and the bible says when jesus saw their faith he said to the parents son your sins are forgiven you i want to preach this morning as part three of this passion for our community how to reach this generation how to